Hey guys, this is Lox and Lily. I don't know if you can see her tail. That is certainly a cat tail. She's already purring. As soon as I sit down and start doing a video, she has to come over here and sit. Jesus, she's got like dandruff or something going on there. Okay, so we're unboxing a Logitech G600 computer mouse. That sounds very rigid and technical. I don't know why I said it like that. But we're unboxing a mouse, and uh, you might be surprised because I was very contented with my Cone XTD. And uh, I would be staying with that mouse, but uh, it developed a small little quirk. And uh, it took me a while to actually figure out what the hell was going on. Uh, I first noticed it on my desktop. I'd be clicking, and uh, all of a sudden I think it would like get fixated on the background or something, and I couldn't click on anything in the foreground, only items in the background. Uh, after a lot of troubleshooting, I finally discovered that the mouse's middle mouse button, mouse 3, I guess, in Quake 3 engine games, uh, was getting stuck in a depressed state. I had a depressed mouse. So, anyway, long story short, I'm not going to contact Rockat. They gave me the mouse uh, to, uh, to show in the video and... Uh, to review and all that so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna send that back to them but for a while I wanted to check out the G600 as you know I wanted a white mouse I wanted a mouse with a lot of buttons on it and uh, the G600 certainly fit the bill but I wasn't about to shell out $79 for it especially with a lot of people saying that they have um, skipping cursor issues um, but I consulted LT Goose who actually owns the exact same mouse I think he has the black version and uh, he seemed to uh, like it a lot. And uh, Newegg had a sale on this mouse. It was 49 bucks. So I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. Which I'm really not in any position to do so because I just dropped a crap ton of money on that graphics card. But anyway, so that's what this is. G600 sitting in a box. And I'm going to uh, crack into it. We'll test it out probably in payday 2 or something like that. Um, but uh, there is one thing I want to do. Uh, I actually have a key. I need to give away for uh, Hitman, uh, I can't remember which variation, it's the latest Hitman game, oh Absolution. Uh, I ended up with an extra key because I forgot that I own the game, I got like 250 games on my Steam list, and with the three free games that I got with my graphics card, I chose Hitman Absolution as one of them, forgetting that I already have it on Origin. So that's extra, and uh, one of you can have it. Uh, I guess this will work like it has on Facebook. I've done uh, contests on Facebook before. Uh, you'll just basically go to the forum. I'll have like a link in the description to go to the forum, and you'll have to sign up. Um, and you'll just type in whatever keyword um, I'll say. And in this instance, it will be flism, flasm, flism, flasm. And uh, you can just take your best attempt at spelling that. Okay, so uh, let's get to cracking in this sucker with Kitty present. Maybe you'd like to go up here, Lily. Let people get a good look at you. Actually, I guess the box needs to be there too. Like this part really matters. Bam! Look at this thing. That looks sexy as hell. White, very white. White in a good way. Yeah, so the G600, this, this mouse has just a crap ton of thumb buttons. The only thing I'm concerned about at this point is, is when I'm picking up the mouse, if I'm going to accidentally be depressing uh, some of these buttons. Honestly, I think I'll only need to use maybe three of these uh, for functions that I will use in Battlefield. Those are the only three that I can think of right now. Uh, the only button that I guess I'll really be losing, or the functionality that I'll be losing, um, compared to the XTD, other than the pretty lights and it's just it tracked really well so I hope that I get all that with this but uh, I'll be losing the the front button it's uh, placed on the nose of the mouse there but uh, I had that bound to on the fly DPI switching which I may not have to do a whole lot of anyway there's the mouse I think uh, this may be very similar to the I don't know if it was the G700 mouse uh, it was the follow-up after the G500 because the buttons look almost maybe more rigid or something. They almost seem more like gamepad buttons rather than uh, buttons that you'd find on the G500 or 
uh, MX series of my, mice. I guess I'll find out when I get further along here. I probably piss a lot of people off because I'm such a slow ass at unboxing stuff, but you know, tons of people unbox shit, so I might as well babble a little bit about um, whatever. I'm going to start editing this because I can't figure out how to open this box. What the fuck? Okay. That's different. Here you go, Lily. Have some tape. Don't have that. It's yours. No, take it. It's yours. Enjoy. No, you don't. I can tell already this has a uh, braided cable. Which is nice, I guess. Uh, weird little pouch thing here. Oh, yes. Instructions. I always need instructions with my mice. Voila! Amazing. Holy shit, this thing is a beast. Oh, very weird. Okay, something you'll notice right from the beginning here, once the light cooperates, is these uh, buttons kind of face uh, different ways. Um... I guess so when you're kind of feeling on it with your thumb, you'll really know where you're at on this thing. I guess if they were all flat, um, you may not be able to tell as easily. Uh, looks like in the center there, um, two of the buttons have a, a little line on it. That should help you keep your placement on here. Uh, I like the surface of it already. I can tell that it's almost... It's like a dry, just kind of hollowy plastic feel. And they have some of this protective plasticky stuff on there. Yay. Looks like the, uh, the gliders on the bottom. It just has mainly two strips here. There's no uh, small feet to speak of. Uh, doesn't look like there's any kind of weight set up or anything. Uh, very interesting to note up here on top, this button here, uh, directly behind the mouse wheel, is recessed a little bit, whereas the one that is behind it uh, sticks up a little bit more. So all these little uh, nuances, uh, so you'll know where the hell you're at on this mouse. Uh, this does have tilt wheel, which I've come uh, particularly fond of recently, at least on the XTD, because the wheel sits up so high that I can just nudge it with my finger. And that's what I use to, to toggle my weapons now. Uh, mainly between my primary uh, or the pistol. But uh, I may actually use my G13 for that uh, in Battlefield. I, I don't know. I guess I'll just have to see how this thing works. But um, yeah, you know, it's really not too big. It just seems like it's kind of wide. You know, it actually seems short. I think the XTD, I'll do a, a size comparison once we move over there, but I'm pretty sure the, the XTD comes out quite a bit further. I don't think that I'm going to have any problems accidentally pressing buttons because as I grab it here, I'm noticing that my thumb is just kind of laying over several of them, so it's not, you're not pinpointing your pressure in one location, I guess. Oh, that's my telephone. Take a little cut break here. A little cut break? It's like I'm farting or something. Returning from the phone call here, only to say that I think we're gonna move over there now so I can actually compare uh, the size of this mouse with the XTD so you'll maybe have a general idea of, of how big this thing really is and then we'll get into playing with it in game and stuff. Okay, so here we are with the XTD and you know I'm really sad to uh, to be moving from this mouse because I like it and who knows if I absolutely cannot stand the G600 I might stay with the XTD. Uh, something that I particularly liked is and I'm not big on color schemes but look how nicely that mimics the Myoelectric logo there. Uh, anyway, I was actually just messing with this because I was trying to reproduce the problem that I was having and of course now I can't do it. Here's the, uh, the G600 and uh, it's going to take some getting used to. I can tell that already. Um, I, I don't want to change the way I hold a mouse. It seems like normally I, I almost go like freaking um, Star Trek or something. I, I want to maybe just use those two fingers on the side of the mouse. Well, I think this mouse is designed to have your, your three fingers rest right there. And while it's uh, 
I guess it makes sense ergonomically. I'm just not, I'm not that used to it. And I'm really not used to uh, how the back just kind of drops off there. I'm, I'm really used to, oops, sorry. I kicked the freaking camera there. I'm really used to how the XTD feels here. I'm going to go ahead and get this mouse plugged in. I'm going to get the drivers installed. And then we'll, uh, we'll pick up here. Okay, going to do a very quick overview of the software here. Um, this is the home screen. Uh, it actually houses many of Logitech's gaming peripherals if you have more than just the G600. So it doesn't look like it uses the standard set point software. All your navigation appears to be down here at the bottom. It's got onboard memory management, uh, your button configs, uh, DPI sensitivities. I got DPI shift on. That's very similar to uh, the Rockat's easy shift functionality to on the fly toggle your sensitivity down with the press of a button. Uh, I'm executing this with this button right here, which I didn't even know existed until I got into the software and started tinkering around. I really don't know how useful that is. Sometimes I find if I have a lot of uh, DPI uh, settings that aren't automated, I'm thinking about that too much in game instead of just going with instinct. So I don't know how much I'm going to use that. Here you have your lighting stuff. I'm not going to mess with that a whole lot. And uh, here you have options that are specific to your different devices and profile management. And you, that's just emulation for my G13, so that doesn't apply here. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, that has your 100 hertz setting in there. So that's pretty much all the changes that I'm going to make in there. We're going to go straight into game, and I'm going to take a few minutes to get my controls set up in Payday. And we'll pick up there. Okay, here we are in game, and I'm just going to go in here guns a-blazing because I want to see how this thing feels. Obviously, I'm totally ignoring the objectives right now. I'm just trying to get familiar with this mouse. I was just trying a couple of quick uh, 180 turns. Normally, it's just kind of a comfortable flick that I can do that. Oops. I think uh, for most of my core functions, I'm going to get everything done in these first six buttons here. I don't know if I'm really going to be using these a whole lot. Uh, maybe if I get in and I start <laughs> playing MMOs or something, possibly. But right now, my, my thumb feels pretty comfortable on, on just that little segment of buttons. So that's probably what I'm going to use the most in uh, FPS games. Well, guys, I don't think there's a whole hell of a lot that I can say about this mouse at this point, other than uh, I want to keep playing with it just to get used to it. I think it, it seems like it handles and feels pretty good, but uh, I just need more time with it, so I want to get in a good evening of gaming tonight, and uh, maybe by the time I actually post this video, I can, uh, I can give you some more feedback in the description. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm pulling headshots, so... <laughs> Maybe I already like this mouse. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.